cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some cars from the quarry. Cars, snorted Sir Handel. Cars, I won't. So there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. Told you, said Sir Handel. By the time workmen came to rescue him, Sir Handel was feeling rather silly. To make matters worse, there stood Sir Topham Hatt. His message to Sir Handel was brief and blunt. I shall talk to you later. Then he and the fireman left with Peter Sand. Sir Handel felt sillier still. Come on, said his driver. Let's get you back on the rail. When Sir Handel crawled home, he found Sir Topham Hatt waiting for him. You're a very naughty engine. I hope I can trust you to behave when you next come out of this shed. After hearing that, I'm sure Sir Handel will, aren't you?